This is the 2017 AP Physics 1 FRQ question number 4. So in this question we have two ramps here and they're being dropped off a table. Uh, when they leave the table the question's basically saying uh, which one lands a greater distance. Or no, it's asking do they land the same distance. Okay, so the first thing you should notice is that the height is the same. Since the height is the same you know the time in the air is the same. So therefore uh, you have to figure out which one's going to be moving faster or are they moving the same speed. So the key idea here is to notice that in both cases uh, they start with the same amount of potential energy, right? They both have potential energy at the top, D above the table. However, in the second case if you notice, so right here we have UG and UG. If we call the table uh, the, uh, the ground state, they have the same amount. At this point all of the UG turns into KE. At this point, you still have some UG, so this would be KE plus UG. So therefore, this should be moving at a smaller velocity because it still has some uh, potential energy. And since it's going a smaller velocity, it should land a shorter distance. So your answer would be no, and your justification would basically be to go through that process of what I just said verbally and just, you know, write that down. Alright, the next part of this question is uh, changing the ramp. This time again the height's the same, okay, and the, uh, the distance is the same, the height, the starting distance is the same, and it's just the shape of the ramp's different. Okay, so the first one is which one's going to land farther from the respective table? Well, again, since the time is the same, the time here, go time one equals time two. Since the height's the same, the time is going to be the same. So again, we want to look at the velocities here. Now, in this case, they both go the same distance, uh, the same height. So this goes from UG to all KE. This one also goes from UG to all KE. So even though they follow different paths, the, uh, the speed at the bottom is going to be the same. Since the speed is the same and the time is the same, the two blocks will land the same horizontal distance. Okay, and again, you're going to go ahead and explain with words what I was just saying verbally. Which block's going to hit the floor first? So in this case, you got to look at, look at the shapes a little bit. We know the speed's going to be the same at the bottom. So the question is, and we know the time in the air is going to be the same. So the question is, what's true about the time on the ramp? Okay, and so for this one, actually I'm going to do a little extreme case just to help make my point. So let's say we had a ramp that looked more like this, where it's a super steep, nearly 9.8 acceleration here, and then a nearly flat region here. And then let's look at the other case where it's just a teeny, 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 tiny slope you know, nearly like 0.1 acceleration, and then down to a 9.8 acceleration here. And they're going to travel the same distance. However, hopefully you can see this one, I mean, this time across here could take one whole minute before it drops. Whereas this one, it's going to be, you know, a second or less, less than a second, and then now it already has a huge speed, so it's going to traverse this horizontal distance in a quick time as well. So in this situation, time would be less, so T1 would be less than T2. And so therefore, uh, this is our extreme case. This is, uh, you know, a little bit less extreme, but still the point is the same. Okay? And so I would go with, uh, what are they asking, which one hits first? So block one's going to hit first. Essentially, you could talk about the fact that there's more acceleration at the beginning so that the velocity, it reaches a top speed or a faster speed quicker versus this one's going to reach a top speed a little bit later and therefore should take longer down the ramp. 